Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. My name's Nathan, and for this video, we're going to be starting something new as a channel. And that something new is a collaborative project with all of our supporters. Now, we've tried to do a group project in the past, but it didn't work out so well because the scope of our project was a little too big for our first attempt. And so for this project, we're going to create something a little more doable, and that is a marble game. Now you might be saying, hey Nathan, everybody does a marble game. It's like the first thing that you learn to create with Unity. And you're exactly right, but that's why we're creating a multiplayer marble game for our collaborative project, because how many marble games have been created by those who might play it? We also want to give an opportunity to those of you who might just barely be starting out with Unity to participate in a project that might be a bit bigger than what you're currently working on, and one that you can take credit in. Now the rules of the project are fairly simple. First, I will take care of the general development of the game itself. Second, you must be a supporter on our website in order to participate, but this will give you exclusive access to a new Unity package that we're only offering to our supporters. And that's in addition to all the other perks that we give to our supporters. Now the third rule is on the scope of our project and the submissions. To limit the scope of this project and keep everything manageable, we're going to restrict the collaboration to level design. And so there's three types of submissions that we're asking for. The first type of submission is creating basic levels using assets from the Unity package that we're providing to those who participate in this collaborative project. The second type of submission is creating more advanced levels using assets of your own design which you've created in 3D modeling software such as Blender. For this option you can even script and animate parts of your levels. Now the third type of submission is for if you don't have a full level built but you might have one part of the level or prefab that could be used in multiple levels. If your single platform or prefab is good enough, then we'll add it to our Unity package so that others can build their levels with your prefab. For example, I've already created a ghost platform that has been included in that Unity package, and this platform disappears a few seconds after a player touches it. This is a prefab that I can add to any scene. So if you have an idea of some sort of prefab that could be included in this game, go ahead and create it and then send it on over. Now the fourth rule of this project is that I really want to give credit to everyone that participates in the creation of it. And so when you make your submissions, make sure that you add in your display name so that I can add your name to the credits of the game. And those are the four basic rules of this project. Now I do have a playable version of this project on my website, which I'll be updating as we build out this project. I'm also working on having this project available on Android and iOS. And when it is, I'll have those links in the description below. Now if you scroll down in this post, you'll be able to see the download button for our Unity package. And so let's take a look at what's included in this package. Here I have a project open with all the files from our Unity package imported. And we'll first take a look at the platforms folder. Inside this folder we have basic platforms. This includes a flat platform prefab, which you can scale to any size. We then have an up ramp and a down ramp and two types of corners. Now the way these platforms are set up, they work on a hierarchy system. And so as child to our flat prefab, there are four directions. So if I were to drag an up ramp onto one of these transforms, you can see that it automatically positions and scales the prefab to fit in the forward position. You can then scale the length and height of this ramp. And once you have it the way you want it to be, you can unparent this object. And I've created a special Unity hotkey, which comes with this package. So all you have to do is press U on your keyboard. Now each of these prefabs have their own child transforms for quickly building out levels with this hierarchy system. Now I've created a few other special platforms and game mechanics which I've included in this package. There's a crushing prefab which when you drag into the scene has an animation that plays that will crush marbles that are underneath it. We then have a ghost platform that will disappear a few seconds after a marble touches it. There's then a launching platform that'll launch the marbles up in the air when a marble's on top of it. And then I have moving platforms that have empty objects that the platform moves between. And so that's all the platforms I have included in this package. Next, I have three different types of balls, which can be used to create a marble game. We've got two balls that move with an add force function, but the second ball also has a jump mechanic. And then we have a third ball that moves with changing the velocity. And the last thing that's included in this package is a static camera follow prefab. This camera will follow its target with a constant delta position and rotation. 
And that's everything that's included in this package for helping me build the levels for this collaborative project. Now I'll go through these prefabs and mechanics more in depth individually with future videos but you should be able to help build out basic levels with what I've showed you so far. Now the one thing to keep in mind when building these levels is that you want the levels to be challenging, but there should be at least one winner by the end of the level, whether it's the first one to finish or the last one to survive. Now once you have a level built and you're ready to submit it, I'd like you to create a folder inside the scenes folder and give this folder a unique name that is your display name. Then inside this folder, create another folder that is the name of your level. That way if you're submitting multiple levels, each level is organized into its own folder and all your levels will be under your name. But inside this folder, you'll want to save your scene and include any unique assets, models, and prefabs that you've created for your level. Once you have this all organized, you'll then want to export your files as a Unity package. So select the Assets folder, then go to Assets, Export Package, then select None, and scroll down to your folders and select those files and folders. Then click export and give your Unity package a unique name that includes your display name. Then you can go back to our website and click select file. You can then add in a display name and a list of the levels or assets that you're submitting. I've then added a field where you can submit a LinkedIn profile if you wish to do so. And then you can give me a short description if there's any information that you think I need to know about your package. And after I receive your file, I'll then look through it. And if everything looks good, I'll add it to our game. Now I hope you'll join me in creating a fun new multiplayer game for the world to play. If you like the idea of me doing more of these collaborative projects with all of you, then make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I make updates to the project.